All right, so you've decided to use contacts. If I'm being honest, that's my favorite way to use Job Nimbus. It's super clean and it reduces duplicate entry. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up your workflow. Your workflow is all of your customer milestones. These are things where a customer starts as a lead, you go out, you work with them, you get your first appointment done, you write them up a contract, they sign it, so on and so forth. These should be little milestones along your step to get this customer where you want them to go. Now, if we're gonna customize our workflows, we have to go into our settings like we already are and click on contact workflows over here on the left-hand side. Once we're here, we're gonna see a list of pre-populated workflows. And this one I've tweaked just a little bit. Now, you'll see that some of these you may or may not use. In fact, I don't do service and repairs at my fictional roofing company. So I'm gonna click on the three dots to the far right of service and repairs and just choose delete and remove it from any, uh, any chance of being used. I also don't need this customer workflow because this is something that I'd only use if I was using jobs. So we're gonna delete this as well. Now the remaining workflows are a residential retail workflow, a supplier, a subcontractor, and an adjuster. If you don't use supplier, subcontractors, or adjusters, feel free to delete those workflows as well. Now that we've narrowed it down to just the default workflows we actually wanna work with, let's go ahead, click the three dots to the right, and choose edit to get in and start working on this workflow. Now up at the top, I can choose the name. It's set to residential retail. I'm gonna just rename this customers because this is where all my customers are going to go. I personally only need one workflow. And if you're a small company, you might find yourself in the same boat. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna take a look at these statuses. My goal here is to simplify. In fact, if someone's sitting in a place for less than 24 hours, I generally wouldn't call that a status. Instead, I could just say, this is a task that needs to be done. So let's take a look. Uh, this lead to status, something that I added, is not something that we need. We'll go ahead, click the three dots and delete it. We'll get a note saying, you sure you wanna get rid of this? Yes, Job Nimbus, yes I do. Appointment scheduled makes total sense for me and my company and probably for your company. But uh, inspection and presentation, I might roll that into just having my appointments scheduled. You'll kind of get the idea of what you need as you go through this. So the top rules are to make sure one, you're simplifying as much as possible. Less is more in this case. And the second important rule is if something is gonna sit in a place for less than 24 hours, that's not a status. Now you might think to yourself, there's a status that's not here that I use in my company that's very important. We can 100% add that in. Up on the right hand side, click add status. It's gonna ask us for a status name. Uh, for instance, I might need to do some insurance paperwork. I'm gonna put that in the stage. Uh, my stage here is in production. This is gonna be after they're originally sold. It's not archived. Archived is where an endpoint for a customer journey would be. And if my endpoint is insurance paperwork, something's gone terribly wrong. And finally, it asks me if I'm gonna send this to QuickBooks or not. If you're not linking with QuickBooks, you can just leave this checked and nothing will happen. And since I'm not linking this account with QuickBooks, I'm just gonna link it, leave it checked. If you are using QuickBooks, you would mark this only when you want Job Nimbus to update QuickBooks on the customer information. Now, when I save this, it's gonna to go to the bottom of the stage on my workflow. You see insurance paperwork showed up right here under job completed. I'm gonna drag this right up above signed contract. So from left to right, you'll see your status names, the stage that they're in, which is sort of a broader category. Whether or not they're archived, remember, archived should only happen when you've reached a customer endpoint. Generally, this is either gonna be when they're lost as a customer or when they're paid and closed. If you're sending them to QuickBooks, and then if it's visible. That's something we don't have to worry about too much right now. 
Once you've gotten your workflow where you want it to be, then it's time to look at your boards, which is actually what you and your team will be seeing most of the time when you're working with customers in Job Nimbus.